Omar was still pretty excited about this evening. I'm very excited that uh, he, he was going to be an MC, he imagined. But the evening didn't go quite as he planned. It was okay. It didn't go quite as he planned. Uh, for one thing, uh, right when he was about ready to announce about the scroll and all that, uh, the school marm, uh, Gladys. Oh, and by the way, she was dressed differently now. She wasn't dressed in black with white trim and stuff. She was dressed in brown with black trim, a dress, and it really looked nice. And and the uh, what was the most amazing thing to uh, Jacob and Rachel could hardly believe it because this was their school teacher for you know first through eighth grade. She let her hair down, and she had beautiful dark brown hair in a brown dress, and she, you know, they, they were just quite taken aback. But anyway, I mentioned her because she, uh, with this engagement ring, she laid, she had laid the law down. She, she said, wait, before we go any further, my fiance, uh, uh, Austin, he's got a confession to make. Come on, Austin. <laughs> so Austin sort of shamefaced. He said, oh, all right. And and they said, I am I am Austin T. Wright, but uh, uh, P, uh, T. But the T does not stand for Tapp, and it stands for Theodore. I am not a descendant of Austin Tapp and Wright. I just like his work so much that I almost imagine that I am or I'd like to be. And you know, when the opportunity arose, so he went on a little bit, but he was kind of looking down. She'd laid the law down. I mean, she was she, in, in, you know, this new life she was about to embark on. She wasn't give up, give, given up on the fact that she liked things proper. So he, he fessed up. But I still really like that book. Uh, well, about that time, uh, somebody else came in the door, and it was... Uh, Actually, uh, Austin was still still talking, but he stopped uh, because it was kind of a, an entourage that came in. Uh, Omar had been waiting anyway. He wasn't he wasn't gonna go much. He was gonna wait as long as he could to see if this entourage would come. The door opened, and and a a uh, an older woman, I guess you'd say pushed in, was pushing in a, a much older woman in a wheelchair. Uh, and uh, along with them were two boys that were, oh, probably maybe 10 years old and 12 years old. And the four of them came in. And uh, this was Barbara. Uh, and she had not missed a Saturday night since they'd opened. And I mean, she was really old. She was had to be in her 90s, probably. Yes, she, she was in her 90s. And the woman that was pushing the wheelchair, uh, her name was Barbie. I mean, uh, Omar knew them. And he, he was really hoping that she would be there for this event. Because really, in the entire building, Omar was convinced that that older woman, Barbara, was, was the smartest one there, including edgy. Uh, he had a lot of respect for her. Uh, she had had a stroke and, and well and she was so old and she so she couldn't speak that well and and it had affected her left side and she was left-handed but but she'd managed to learn to write right-handed and still wrote pretty nice. She had beautiful writing. Well, anyway they they came in and sort of set themselves up at a, a little table <coughs> that had kind of been her spot. And the boys, when they saw the pool table was vacant, they went right over there and uh, they started to, uh, you know, set it up to play some pool. They were excited about that. And now I'm, you'll see why I'm telling, making it kind of a fuss about this, uh, this lady. I could tell you a lot more about her. Maybe I should, or maybe I will. But anyway, uh, she got set up, and then, uh, and then uh, Omar s said, uh, "No, be, uh, the uh, this, the uh, fiance 
I'm gonna. There's so many names. I'm gonna end up forgetting some of these names. Austin. He, he said, Be, "Before I, I've confessed, but I still would like to know because I really did like that book. Is there anybody out there that has? How many of you out there? There are only twelve, but or a dozen or so. But he was. He said, "Is there anybody else out there who's who's read Islandia?" And there was kind of a, a banging and a fuss coming from the, the table where uh, Barbara w was sitting. Uh, and she was pretty excited. Now, her stroke had affected her speech, and she couldn't, and she had a soft voice anyway. And, but, but anyway, she had both hands up, and she was having trouble with that left hand getting it up because of that stroke. But she'd managed to get both two hands up. And... Uh, and then she whispered to her daughter, that, that's, that's uh, Barbie, Barbie Herrick is her last name. Uh, you know the English, uh, m maybe you don't know, the same name as, as that English poet, what was it, Robert Herrick. Anyway, Robert, uh, Barbie, Barbie Herrick. Anyway, she said something to him, uh, her, and Barbie spoke up and she said, my mother's all excited because she's, read that book twice uh, and uh, and uh, she said uh, again uh, Barbie was acting like a, a mouthpiece uh, and she'd listen to what the, the really old lady was saying and Barbie said and and it's her favorite book and and uh, she the old lady wasn't done she still had something else she wanted to say and so Barbie listened and uh, she said and her son has read it three times. <laughs> That's that. That would be, that would be Barbie's brother. Uh, so, uh, hmm. The uh, this was a happening, and uh, and not only uh, not only Austin Theodore Wright that he stood for Theodore, but also Andy Andy Snyder. He got real interested in it too, and they both headed over to that. and And uh, Omar was kind of seeing the his plan for the uh, evening was was kind of changing a little bit, but but he thought, well, that's okay. And they went over and they started to talk some, but then Omar said, okay, now I've got an announcement to make.